Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More, and I'm standing outside the Ocho, everybody's favorite eightplex with 16 garages that has had more drama in the last six months than I've had in my entire real estate career, pretty much. But uh, today, um, maybe another dramatic day. We'll see. Uh, today is the day where the garage eviction is scheduled. So we had um, the eight apartments right here, each come with a storage unit and a single car garage, which we'll show you right here. Right there, that row. And then these two car garages are rented separately. So we've had a tenant who hasn't paid. Um, there's a police standoff in his garage late last year, which I'll link to below in the comments. Um, a long police standoff. And then we recently had another call from the police because he was trying to find the um, tenant for that garage because there's a stabbing at the garage and he's trying the police were trying to figure out some information find the person and um, go from there so lots of drama here lots of interesting stuff happening at the Ocho um, of course we love the likes comments and shares and if you want to subscribe we have lots of videos about this property and our other properties as well and businesses and advice and different things on real estate too uh, we also have a weird tenant situation where a tenant was missing for a week and um, no one heard from him. We went into the property to see if he was there. He wasn't. He wasn't in the garages. So that was good. Turns out he did show up safe, alive, all of that. So that was great. But we've got a weird situation with his apartment we'll talk about here in a different video. And um, I'll post that here soon. So um, I haven't been in that apartment for a couple weeks. So we'll go up there and see what it looks like after we kind of take care of this garage eviction thing now. So the police should be here soon, and um, when they get here, we will proceed to see what it looks like. Um, this person has sort of been in contact with us. At first he said he's gonna catch up and pay rent, and then he never did anything to catch up or pay any rent. Uh, never said he was leaving, won't answer his phone. I think you can tell which garage it is. It's the really ugly one. Um, but he took his cameras down. His cameras are gone. So um, that's a good sign. And um, yeah, <laughs> so we'll see how this goes. And so, yeah, if the garage doors look different because we got a new garage door for this one. But they should be here soon. We'll kind of get this opened up, see what's in there, and go from there. So a lot of stuff happened really fast. Uh, we actually got a text from the tenant saying he was out, he already left so much trash, and he gave us the code. So we were able to go over there early and check out and see um, if he's out, if he's gone. And as we were doing that, the sheriff actually called and said, hey, can we come early or other eviction ended early? So the sheriff came, we came early. Our whole crew wasn't there, but since it was vacant, um, I opened up the garage. We did get the code to work. We saw inside of it. He was gone. We'll show you what it looks like here in just a second. And not so much drama on this eviction, so that's nice. Now we still have plenty of drama at the property. Um, our other evictions have gone just horrible on this one. We had a squatter eviction, which was crazy. Another family eviction, which was just horrible. And both times, those tenants stayed until the police were knocking on their door. With the squatters, they wouldn't answer the door. And I have links to those videos below. I'll make sure to post those. Um, so luckily, this has been a, a more simple eviction. And the third eviction on this property in six months, when we almost never have that many in two years. And yes, a random dog was walking around as well. And now we will see what the garage looks like for the first time. Uh, opening it up, I know it's not super dramatic because we know all this stuff was gone. And we had thought before um, there was a panel that was busted out that he had screwed in. So if we didn't have the code, if we couldn't get in there, we'd just break that panel open and hopefully have someone small crawl into the garage and open it from the inside. And um, that was just our plan to get in there if we couldn't, since it does have a garage door, as you can see. And left some stuff. There's a weird pictures. Um, they said they weren't living in here. Maybe they were living in here. Maybe they weren't. They definitely heated the garage. Um, there's their pee hole where they had peed into the funnel that went outside. That was amazing. Looks like they didn't clean that up. And the garage door, they had some amazing rules right there. So obviously they're hanging out there quite a bit, um, even if they weren't. 
living there. And like I said, we had a police standoff there. We had um, a stabbing there. There were always cars parked outside the garages, sometimes blocking other garages, so it's been great to get rid of that. And then, yeah, later I saw someone had come along and broken our fence. I don't know if they're trying to get through there or what, um, but yeah, we'll fix that. And just it's just crazy all the stuff that's happened to this property. We had other tenants calling us the other day saying some kids or maybe young adults were hanging out and wouldn't leave, and the police said they wouldn't do anything, so we posted some notices saying no loitering or hanging out. I'm not sure why you have to post that or why the tenants can't I'm called the police, but hopefully that stops. And then the sheriff, I was telling them about all the things that happened because they, they said the task force had been watching this garage. Obviously, they had a, a big standoff there. Um, and then they said the task force had actually been asking us about other garages, which we haven't had any problems with. Um, or maybe, I don't know, but they said they're watching something else. I'm like, great, wonder what that's all about. So anyway, <laughs> this eviction is done. Um, hopefully, this property can be stabilized here soon. And then the plan is to sell it. Um, for now, another chapter is done. Like I said, we'll have more chapters about the tenant who was missing. I did stop in there. Wasn't super happy with how that's progressing. And we'll have that story soon here too. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And then we'll get this garage cleaned up a little bit. Get that rented out hopefully here soon. They are renting for $250 a unit. And they've been rented very easily. And I um, haven't had any problems except for that one. So thanks for watching. Love the likes, love the support. Love seeing comments and new subscribers as well. We'll be back with the Ocho, I'm sure, in the future. <laughs> we'll have updates on the Crazy Camper, um, updates on our other properties and businesses. And um, thanks a lot for watching.